kingdom responsibility so when god blesses people they know that among the many things to do with that blessing is to see to it that the program of god finds expression hallelujah let me give you two keys and then we'll pray the two keys from scripture that will help you to establish these three levels of dominion in your life and then other people's lives that are connected to you let me give you the keys there are many but i'll just give you two for tonight are you ready number one is to learn how to receive the wisdom of the spirit in the place of prayer please write it down the first way the first way to convert the things that god has said to be made manifest in your life is to use the weapon of prayer to tap into the wisdom of the spirit and know what you need to do to make that blessing manifest now the bible speaks generally about how to get answers for everything but there are unique instances in our lives whose solutions are not directly written in scripture this is where the wisdom of the spirit comes are we together there is nowhere in scripture where it is written how you should take care of four of your children or how you should heal cancer or how you should attend to your needs the place of prayer listen we pray for many reasons but i am telling you that one of the scriptural strategies end time strategies for believers is to know how to use prayer not just for intercession not just for transformation but prayer as a tool for ascendance that you can use prayer to ascend until you draw the wisdom of the spirit and download it a rhema word from God that you will obey immediately and it will make the word of God to be made manifest many believers study scripture but you do not know that most of the things that you read in scripture were inspired by the Holy Ghost and that same spirit lives in you but you must know how to stir up the operation of the Holy Spirit to reveal to you for instance when we're about to start here in Abuja I've shared it with you and I keep sharing I was praying we did not even know where we'll be using for an auditorium for instance now that is not written in scripture there is a general guide as to what to do but now the unique word that provides solution and brings to pass what God has said and I kept praying in the spirit Lord what is the way out I am frail in myself and in my ability you are the only one who will help me and while I kept praying one day a rema word came and the Lord told me buy the map get a the map of Abuja the map of Nigeria the map of Africa and the map of the globe and keep praying on it now it does not make sense but that is a rema word the prophetic word of God is now being converted to the experience and I went got it in obedience and all I kept doing was to pray in fact as at the time I was praying I had not yet even settled if it was Abuja I was still trying to confirm in my spirit it was one time I was praying and my eyes were lifted and I saw just when you are coming towards I think the stadium road also that map of Abuja that was when I saw it and immediately I knew that this was it but now that is step one how are you now going to begin to make things happen and then to pray in the name of Jesus how is this going to happen Lord reveal to me can I tell you this when you stay in the place of prayer and you stretch in patience waiting for the Lord his word will come when the word of the Lord comes, it comes with a solution for you. For someone, that word can come and God will tell you, call so, 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 I'm so person and just tell him about your needs. Ordinary, that is a failed strategy. But God will tell you and you will speak to the person and the person will say, you know, I was just thinking of someone to bless. How much is it? And you say, sir, I'm even afraid of saying it. He says, say it. It's 10 million. He says, come and collect it tomorrow. And you will kneel down there and say, God, what is this? It is a rema word. Most believers do not know how to stay until they get the strategy that brings prophetic words to come to pass. There are people who, in the place of prayer, God will tell you, go and get a bottle of water as a rema word and take it while you are praying. That will be the cure of that sickness. 
It may not make sense, but it's a rema word for you. It's not a ritual to now start sharing for everybody. It's not a doctrine, but it has come as a rema word. You will carry that water and just take, and that is the end of it. That destructive sickness will never plague you again. There are others, God will say, wake up by 12 in the night. Just walk around your living room. Sing praises. Just sing praises. And you will get up by 12. You are still feeling the pain. But because he said so, you will be singing praises like a madman. Sometimes as a businessman, all doors have closed. You have done everything you need to know and to do. And you will just be singing praises to the Lord. And while you are singing praises, the pain goes, never to return. Or while you are singing the praises, an email will come, an alert will come. You see that now? It was in the place of prayer that God brought the word for the sound of revival that we did in UK. It was in the place of prayer. I knew that it was time we're stepping into a season where we're now taking the kingdom and the power of God across the globe. But to guess how you would do it, you can fail as if God did not speak to you. There are many people, what you are doing is a wrong strategy, but the goal is genuine. God actually told you that this is what you would do, but you did not stay to get the strategy. You just assume that just because God said feed the hungry and you carry money and before you know it you are broke. Or God said you are a man of God, you just assume that it's to start a church and you don't have the bills nor the people to come and listen to you. The first key that converts the prophetic speakings of God, you want dominion over spirits, dominion over sicknesses and diseases, dominion over limitations economically speaking you must learn to invest in the place of prayer for the purpose of tapping into the wisdom of the spirit that is how i prepare some of the sermons that come of course there is a principle for preparing sermons but i take out time and pray and god is at liberty to interrupt my schedule and interrupt any series we may be ongoing with to be able to reveal after all we are all his people and he's the Lord over the ministry. We are organized people, but not at the expense of the prophetic speakings of God. He has liberty to interrupt at any time and bring forth that which is needed in the season. Hallelujah. Yes. So they come to Jesus and say, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act of it. The issue was not the woman. The issue was to find a way of discrediting him. And he keeps quiet and is writing. And he looks at them. Wisdom. He who does not have sin among you, cast the first stone. And that was the end of it. How about his healing? There were some that he spat on the ground and made spittle out of it. Put it on their eyes and said, go and wash in the pool called Siloam. There were others he spoke to them, laid hands. There were others he made a decree. He even though he knew that it was God was with him and it was in his destiny to heal the sick. He had to wait for every rema word. Do you see, this is the difference between our generation and the generation of our fathers. Most of them were not very educated, but they will wait till God speaks. They will never take careless steps. Our generation is quite intellectual and in it, sometimes we just ignore the place of the voice of God. Should I pursue, oh God? I know it is in my destiny to get to the promised land, but how am I going to defeat them? And you sit down and begin to pray. You are singing songs of worship and sometimes in the midst of that prayer, you will fall asleep. It's not slumber. Is God putting you to sleep and you will have a prophetic dream and out of that dream will come the solution for the next level hallelujah you believe what I'm sharing with you so every believer who wants to be part of this dominion campaign over spirits over infirmities and over financial bankruptcy must know how to pray to tap into the wisdom of the spirit. Sometimes you are studying and you are praying. Shani kabaruski atabalash. And the Holy Spirit will lead you to a property that does not make sense. And say just buy that land and leave it there. You buy that land. Two weeks later, someone else will come and they will want to buy it. Even if it's ten times more. They will say we need it. Wisdom. Hallelujah. 
Some of you, sometimes the Spirit of God will just speak to you and say, you know what? Send a text to this person and just greet the person. Don't talk about money. Don't talk about a need. And the Holy Spirit will say, you just obey. Because it came in the place of prayer. You see, you just send a text and the person looks at you and says, how are you? I hope you are doing well. And you say, well, not exactly well. What is the issue? I've been struggling for my rent. And it's okay, you know what? For the next four years, I will be paying your rent. Send me your account number. And that's it. Simple instruction. It came by the wisdom of God. Someone will look at your life and see that you may not have a job as it were, but you are excelling in a way that they cannot understand. It's because you have learned how to pray. Listen, we are a very busy people, especially within the context of today's world. But let me plead and beckon on you. Those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time are people who can stay away and take some time. When you pray and get direction, then you can take action. Taking action in ignorance or disobedience will only recycle pain. There are men of God you have to stop. Don't just assume that because everybody is doing conferences, I must do it too. Everybody is doing this. There are people today who went to do charity and they became poor because they did not ask from God to get direction. They carried all their money home and abroad and went to do charity and went down not to rise up again. When God speaks, there is honor that follows his word. When God speaks, there is power that backs what he says. Can I tell you, except it is not the God of heaven speaking, when he speaks, you can trust what he says. Let me give you number two. Is someone learning? We must become people of prayer. There are many believers who pray but they do not pray with the consciousness of tapping into the wisdom of the spirit. You can pray for transformation. You can pray for warfare. But there are times you can pray and imagine a man climbing a ladder while you are praying. You are ascending to the spirit, bringing your ears closer to the heart of